or the future, future and the past. past. Close the generation of the vibe. Take a journey through time and space. Welcome back, everyone, to our second show. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Today, for our second show, we are going to have a very special guest, the renowned illustrator and artist, Hannah. And maybe, maybe at the end of the show, there'll be a little surprise for everyone. So, first, Let's start with some predictions. We are here today to study the future. Because the future is where we live. You are interested in the unknown, the mysterious, the unexplained. That's why you are here. In the future, the Congress and Senate will consist of children because of their remarkable curiosity and intelligence. In the future, there will be no verbal communication. All communication will be telepathically or digitally transmitted. By the year 2032, people will smoke so much grass, they'll have to have their lungs mowed every week. By 2027, you'll be able to smell your favorite TV show. By the year 20. 23, currency will be how many likes and shares you have accumulated through social media. The more you accumulate, the richer you will be. In the year 2026, medication will be delivered through the atmosphere. By 2030, all pets will have personal chefs. And now I'd like to introduce my guest, a very interesting young lady, an artist and an illustrator, Hannah. Now I'd like to see if we can make a little connection with each other. I'd love to. Wonderful. Let's do it. I'm here with Hannah, the artist, illustrator, and we're going to see if we can make a connection today. So what I'd like you to do is like, put your finger right here, and see if anything starts happening or anything. I'm starting to feel some of your artwork going by. How about you? Do you see anything like happening anywhere? I do. I'm attempting to transmit psychically to you as we speak. Wonderful. So let's see and look at some of your work and let's discuss a little bit. All right. So much glamorous pathos and angst in your work. What does this mean to, for everyone? Um, well, I would say that um, I try to juxtapose what most people see as morbid and um, show that the morose and the frightening and the um, 
depressing, I guess, can be something beautiful and um, something to celebrate in the human experience. See, my generation, we were more about creating cute little pleasant <laughs> items and stuff. And you can see by some of my work that I've done over the years, it's very nothing. It's just shapes and forms. and But the work that you do is so beautiful, the lines and the glamour of the people that you, you know, portray in your art. It's wonderful. And I hope people don't consider this dark art or anything <laughs> like that. I just hope it's a very beautiful thing. It's a thing of beauty. Thank so you, you. I'm very excited that you came here to show us this. Yeah. Hannah, here's something that I've done many years ago. I don't know what you think or anything, but I find it very magical. There's a point here where if you look, you can either go inside of it or it'll come out of you. And uh, that was all by accident because I'm really not much of an artist. You know, compared to you, what do you think? What do you think about stuff like this? I like the geometry of it. Um, I mean, the triangle is a symbol of power in a lot of different cultures, so the fact that you made it central to your piece is probably fairly significant to most people. And also, I'm very fascinated. You know, I always, I don't consider my paintings to be triangles. I'm always <laughs> trying to make them look like a pyramid. Yeah, there's definitely depth you know, to it. I've been always fascinated by pyramids and the, the geometry of them and everything. So uh, this is what I've done. <laughs> Hannah, do you mind? We have to take a break now for our sponsor. And today our sponsor is Jeff Stokes. Now, from Procter & Gamble, a new and totally different bath and beauty bar. Zest, with glorious new cleaning action. And new positive deodorant action. All in one wonderful bar. For the first time in your life, feel really clean. Clean two ways. One, Zest frees your skin of that unseen sticky film always left by soaps. Two, Zest gives you lasting deodorant protection. Keeps you feeling fresh and the glow all over, all day. And look, another wonderful thing. No bathtub ring. Zest is more than soap at its best. It's a real thrill to you, Zest. Get that Zest glow from head to toe. Z-E-S-T. -E Zest. Oh, welcome back, everyone. Hannah, would you like to take a little journey with me and see where we wind up? Maybe we'll wind up in the future. Maybe we'll wind up in the past. So let's take my hand and let's go back here and let's see what happens. so foggy. I can hardly see anything. If we look through the fog and the haze, it kind of looks like 19th century London. How did we wind up here? Do you have anything to say or any connection to 19th century London that you could think of why it brought us here? I'm in love with Victorian culture and actually um there are so many flowers in my work because I usually use the Victorian language of flowers to convey things subversively that you can't convey through the figures in there. That's amazing. I think we really made a connection. We took you back to a place you'd probably like to be at. <laughs> so. And I'm sorry to interrupt you, but once again, we have to do a commercial for our zest soap, which we've used forever in our lives. And uh, 
we're going to continue using it. I think Hannah even has used that soap a few times, haven't you? Once or twice, okay. I like their cashmere scent. There you go. I'm very basic, just let it go. Mother, am I supposed to use what George uses? This? You want to feel clean? Of course, but not with anything George uses. My skin's more delicate. So is mine. And this new zest is fine for me. New? Zest isn't new. This zest is, see, improved. And mild enough even for your delicate skin. New improved zest. New soft aqua color. New soft fragrance. Smells mild. Zest is mild. So mild even delicate skin can dare to feel really clean. Clean, fresh, the way zest makes you feel. Clean, fresh, with deodorant action that lasts all day. Yet zest is so mild even delicate skin can dare to feel really clean. Using my zest. Your zest. My zest, too. New improved zest. Welcome back, everyone. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I try so not to give in. I said to myself, this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when, baby, I know damn well that I've got you under my skin. I'd sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near in spite of the warning voice comes in the night and repeats, repeats in my ear Don't you know, you fool? You never can win Use your mentality Wake up to reality But each time I do Just the thought of you Makes me stop before I begin, because I've got you under my skin, and I like you under my skin. Thank you so much, Leo, for accompanying you. We'd like to thank Hannah, our special guest, and our audience. Thank you also. And uh, till the next time, we'll see you later.